Hello everyone, welcome back to Times Drive. I'm Ankur Taneja and today we have a very special guest with us, Lance Bennett, who is the Vice President at Mercedes Benz India of Sales and Marketing. Thank you, Lance, so much for joining us here in this interview. We have the EQ with us, Mercedes has introduced this car in the Indian market. So if you can share some insights, uh, features does the car have compared to other brands and how the customers can I mean, go for this new electric vehicle EQA. Sure. So yeah, we're very pleased to have this car um, here in India. It's, it was first launched in 2021. Um, it's been, for Mercedes-Benz, our most popular uh, entry luxury electric vehicle. So we've actually sold more than 1.3 lakh um, EQAs since the launch. Um, and yeah, and we spec'd it specifically for the Indian market. So. Um, uh, Burmester sound system in it, head up display, um, and we've got a beautiful luxurious interior, what we call the electric art line interior as well. Um, also put the AMG alloys on it as well, um, and you know put together a great package which we think our customers will like. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty excited to expand our electric range as well. So at the moment we've got three and this is the fourth um, electric vehicle in our range um, and we've got more coming as well. So how do you envision the luxury car market that is there in India? How do you think it's going forward and what are the challenges that are there to convince the customers to go for the uh, BEVs and especially the Mercedes brand electric vehicles that are already there in the Indian market? Yeah, so we've um, had um, quite a good success, in, at least in quarter one. Um, you know, we've had 15% growth, um, and within the, the uh, electric segment, um, we've actually had 6% of our sales as fully electric. So it actually increased 130%. So we're seeing um, a lot of interest in electric vehicles. Customers are. Um, wanting to talk to us about electric um, and we are still continuing to offer you know a great range of internal combustion plus these new electric vehicles I think um, you know offering um, a charging network within our dealer network as well so we've got high powered chargers within our dealers across the country um, plus we've got an access to um, a charging app um, called Fitch Charging App. So it enables customers to be able to um, travel with the electric vehicles and charge around the country. When you purchase an EQA as well, you also get um, a charge wall box um, for your home installation as well. So you can charge and whenever you leave home, you can have a full battery, which gives you up to 560 kilometers range as well. You also, I mean, you're uh, talking about the, the charging locations that are there. So how are you going to uh, planning to expand it in this year or maybe in uh, coming year? So what are the uh, numbers of charges that we can expect, uh, expect to expand in the coming year or few months? So we intend to um, increase the, our network coverage as well. So we've got 20 new um, service um, outlets that will open up in sort of tier two and tier three cities as well. Um, and within these um, service outlets, there will be um, a high powered charging um, station as well so that you can charge there. Plus um, the tie up with the um, aggregator app Fitch, um, whenever there's new charges, which I guess they're associated with, they'll be added um, and so our customers can access them as well. So we see a lot of um, interest from um, charge operators um, developing and expanding their network of charges around the country at the moment. Now when it comes to sustainability, uh, this car has a lot of elements that are made uh, from used from recycled plastic and a few other elements. So what do you think, I mean, uh, are there any challenges to I mean, implement these kind of uh, technologies into the cars and uh, have Mercedes-Benz India uh, faced any uh, challenges regarding that? You can share some few things and how you guys have addressed it. Sure. I think, um, you know, we've got this ambition, uh, we call Ambition 2039. So by 2039, we'll be carbon neutral. So that's, you know, the full uh, manufacture to um, scrapping of the vehicle. So within the EQA, we actually have um, recycled PET um, fabrics uh, interior as well. Um, plus, we also, we've got a um, battery uh, recycling plant in Germany as well, which allows us to recycle 97% uh, of the battery as well. Um, so I think these sort of initiatives, um, you know, really support um, our goal to be sustainable and I, our view is, you know, there is no luxury without sustainability. Our customers expect um, us to act in a sustainable way um, and I think we're proving that, you know, with the development of, you know, recycled materials in our vehicles um, and, you know, plans to have the recycling uh, batteries as well. 
So, uh, how does Mercedes Benz India engage with and supports its local community here in India? And in what ways your communication strategies differ from the brands that are already there in the Indian market, uh, the premium brands that are there? So, what extra does Mercedes offers to customers when it comes to competition here in India? Have connection with the community, so we're actually supporting. Um women in education as well so we've got um, a tie up with the local uh, university where we're um, promoting uh, women to um, be continue their education and, and expand. Um, we also are connecting with um, the community, um, educating them about sustainability um, and you know connecting with our community of EV customers as well so offering uh, events through our dealerships which allow them to come together and meet like-minded people um, through you know a exclusive curated events as well so you know, we're connecting customers and um, educating them about um, sustainability and what it is like to drive an electric vehicle as well. Cool. My last question is what upcoming projects are you most excited about here at, uh, at Mercedes-Benz India and what can customers expect in uh, coming months or maybe by the end of this year? So I think the first six months has been very busy for us. Um, we've launched six new vehicles, but we've got another six vehicles to come um, in the second half of the year. Um, so this is the first one, and we have another two electric vehicles. Um, so that's very exciting for us as we expand our electric range. So by the end of the year, we'll have um, doubled our electric range. Um, and I think you know having that expanded range allows us to have um, a vehicle for every customer um, needs as well. So that's very exciting in terms of our um, transition towards electric um, and offering our customers a choice um, now to an internal combustion engine vehicle. So it's an exciting six months ahead. Thank you so much, Lance. For Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.